Mwago Maina, Mubunga wa Starehe Constituency, pale CBD pale town katikati. Na nimekuja hapa kuleta rambi rambi zangu na za familia kwa ndugu yangu Major Dong, mtumiaji wa miaka mingi sana, mbunge mwenzangu pale Nairobi and a truthful man also. So leo mimi sitasema mambo mingi ya siasa. But bwana Rigiji mimi nakuomba hivi. You've seen the business community of Gikomba present here. That is an industry that has employed so many people. The unlearned people tumekuwa wengi sana pale Gikomba. Sisi tunaomba utusaidie for our business environment ya Gikomba. Mimi nimezaliwa hapo, mali inaitwa equity kwa hiyo nyumba iko hapo. Na I've been brought up in the business community. And this is the strongest community yenye tuko nayo kama Kikuyu. The business community is the most powerful instrument tuko nayo sisi kama wa Kikuyu. As far as mimi ni wa chama ya jubilee ya Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. I must support your efforts in uniting the mountain and we are fully behind you because we should have unity of purpose as a community ndo tuweze kwenda mbele. Niwashukuru sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you so much. Ndio hao watagate. Kuleo kaudu juu. Kuleo kauduke. Eh daroba. Uwo gdaro akakagushia. Eh bere ya kutiju. Kinyero hao. I want to thank the leadership of Nairobi led by the governor and the MPs and the MCs and the people of Nairobi for escorting one of your own and spending the whole day with him. That is leadership. Hata wale akina baba wino sivuna watu ya azimio leo tumewatolea kofia. At least wamekuja. Tumewakaribisha zindio? Hata kama babu wanasema tufanye maandamano ni vile tu hana mtu ya kumweleza. Sisi hiyo tabia ya maandamano it is not in this part of this country. Hiyo sisi ya tuko hapo. Si tukiwa na maneno tunaongea na mdomo. Mambo ya kuharibu mali ya watu na nini na kutupa mawe it is not in our culture we don't do so. Lakini ni vile tu ajui tutaongea na yeye pole pole tutamuongelesha but we are very happy. Governor Sakaja well done and as I told you the people of this region voted for you to a man. These are good people. Hao watu ya Mlima Kenya ni watu wazuri. Wakipenda mtu wamependa. Kaa na hao vizuri uachunge na biashara zao hawana mambo mingi watu wa Nairobi kama mmoja wa madogo aige meda kwa biashara si awe kata kugitero if there are any changes in Nairobi before you do call these people mketi chini mkubaliane these are good people kaa karibu na hawa kwa siasa hii kazi yetu katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza ni kutoa hizo sufuria ambazo zilikuwa zinavaliwa kwa kichwa zirudi jikoni zikapike ugali kwa hivyo mheshimiwa babu wa wino hakuna maandamano itakuwa Mount Kenya hata Nairobi hakuna maandamano itakuwa kule jina langu ni John KJ Kiarie mjumbe wa Dagoreti Kusini and your excellency the president keep fighting for the region Asanteni, asanteni sana. Ada ni ba Muriega. Muriega rege. Ngai ni Mwega. Ingoshiobe. Asanteni sana. Si mnajua mimi ni mudhoniwa. Kwa hivyo nikisimama hapa na simama na mguu ngapi? Asante sana. To our deputy president bwana Rigiji. Governor wa Nairobi Johnson Sakaja viongozi wote ambao wakapa seneta wangu ambaye pia ni secretary general wa chama kubwa hapa nchini Edwin Sifuna <laughs> na viongozi wote ambao mko hapa siku ya leo ni kwa hapa kwa sababu ya mheshimiwa Major Dong ambaye amepoteza babake na nataka kumwambia pole sana the bible says in Matthew 11:28 Your Excellency tangu niwache pombe siku hizi Biblia mimi niko hatari sana <laughs> Katika kitabu cha Matthew 11:28 the Bible says The Almighty God says come to me all those who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest May the Almighty God give your family rest May he give you the strength and the courage to overcome the demise of your lovely dad and the bible also says 
in the book of Genesis 3.19 that unto dust we came and unto dust we shall return. And therefore the question is, as you are returning, because eventually we will all go back to where we came from. But the question is, we will go back as who? What did you do on earth? That is the question that you will be asked. Lastly, Bwana Rigiji, saizi unajua vizuri baba anaenda AU. Anaenda kuwa AU chairperson. Na baba akienda, anawacha babu. Kwa hivyo, Bwana Rigiji, mjichunge sana hapo 2027 tunakujia hizo viti. Kwa sababu, kama tutaona ushuru inaongezu wa juu zaidi, mimi mwenye nitaleta maandamano hapa nyeri. Watu wa nyeri mmekubali. Bei ya kahawa ikienda juu, tutaleta maandamano hapa nyeri. Bei ya chai ikienda juu, maandamano itakuwa hapa nyeri. Kwa sababu kazi yetu sasa kwa opposition ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba masilai ya wa Kenya wote inakuwa guided. La mwisho kabisa. Huyu Major Dong bwana Rigiji sasa zile mlikuwa mnatunyorosha na tear gas. Yeye ndiye mmejua constituency yake na yangu ni barabara tu ndi imegawanya. Nilikuwa nampigia ananiambia tear gas ngapi mmeplan mnataka kutuwae nayo noma na tena ni flavor gani na imetengenezwa wapi? Ile ya China ama ya America. Otherwise God bless you. Thank you. Amesema watu wa Nairobi huwa tunakuwa na umoja sana. Nataka ni kuelezee ya kwamba huyu ndugu yangu Meja Dong alichaguliwa katika eneo bunge la embakasi ya kati na tiketi ya chama cha UDA lakini watu wa embakasi central wakifika kwa ballot ya senate walipigia mtu ya ODM mheshimiwa naibu rais katika constituency yake huyu jamaa alinitafutia kura ni vile alisema nisichome nitangaze wazi aliniombea kura na nikapata 52% of the vote in embakasi central wakati ambapo kiongozi wote wa Nairobi anapata shida mheshimiwa huwa tunasimama kwa kipamoja hata na mimi mwako lopita nilipoteza babangu mkubwa hawa jamaa ndio waliweka lile hema kama hili wa viongozi wote wa Nairobi kuanzia kwa governor hadi kwa MCS wetu kwa hivyo tuko hapa kwa niaba ya sisi wote kama watu wa Nairobi meja don wewe ni rafiki yangu ukipoteza baba yako lazima nije nisimame na wewe pole si kupata nafasi kuja nyumbani kule Nairobi lakini nilisema lazima nifike hapa ili niweze kusema pole kwa sababu wewe ni mmoja wetu. Nataka Mungu akupe nguvu na subra pamoja na familia yako ya kuweza kustahimili msiba huu ambao umeupata. Mimi nitasema mambo mawili peke yake. Mheshimiwa Nairobi wa Rais, mimi siwezi jiita rafiki yako ukweli tu. Sisi sio marafiki hata leo ndio mara ya kwanza tumepatana hapa. Lakini nataka kukuambia mimi sinaga ubaya na wewe. Hakuna kitu chochote ambacho kinaleta uhasama. Hata huyu rafiki yangu hapa Kagusha Juzi alisema kwa TV kichwa yangu ni kubwa sana. <laughs> Mheshimiwa Naibu Rais na unajua mimi ni Muluya. Sasa alikuwa anataka nifanye namna gani? Sisi watu wa Luya kila kitu ni kubwa. Ukiangalia size ya kiatu nimevaa, uangalie kichwa, uangalie mapua, kila kitu ni kubwa. Kwa hivyo Mheshimiwa Naibu wa Rais, ile mambo ambayo ilikuwa inatuletea tofauti, mimi naona ni kama inaenda ikipungua. Kwa sababu nilifurahi sana nilisikia juzi hata we mwenyewe ukasema ya kwamba mumeangalia wakati ya implementation na umswada wa fedha mwako lupita implementation ya ile taxation ambao umeweka wananchi wenu wenyewe wanawaambia kuna mahali kiatu kinawafinya wanataka turekebisha hiyo sheria ya ushuru haswa wale wakulima wa avocado ama nilizikia mambo yangu walisema turekebishe kwa hivyo mheshimiwa naibu wa rais nataka kukuambia wakati ambapo mtafanya marakibisho kwa umswada kwa sababu ile kelele yote ulikuwa unasikia tunapiga ilikuwa kwa sababu ya kusema kwamba kuna maswala ambaye tunaweza kuangalia turekebishe utaleta hiyo mswada mimi na kagushi ya huyu hako nyuma yangu tutafanya ile mabadiliko inahitajika ili wakulima wetu wasiendelee kungangana ile mambo ingine ile ilikuwa inafanya tunaleta tofauti ni vile ulikuwa unasema watu kama sifuna hawana shares katika hii inchi lakini nilikuja nikasikia wewe mwenyewe ukasema ya kwamba lazima ili tujenge inchi kila mkenya ajisikie kwamba yeye yuko ndani ya serikali hii na yuko ndani ya inchi hii ya Kenya tukamalizana na hiyo maneno kwa hivyo mimi zina ubaya na wewe mimi nakutakia kila laheri sisi kama watu wa upinzani kazi yetu ni kukosoa serikali wakati ambapo inaenda mrama jambo la mwisho kwa gavana wangu wa Nairobi mheshimiwa Sakaja mimi nataka nikuombe kwa sababu mimi nakujua kama muungwana 
wale ndugu zetu ambao wanatufanyia huduma ya afya kule Nairobi madaktari wetu hakuna haja ya kuanza kutisha watu hakuna haja ya kuanza kupiga watu kama secretary general wa, wa KMPDU Tiagas unajua hiyo watu hawajazoea hiyo vitu wao ni madaktari wamekaa kwa shule miaka sita wao wanakuja kusaidia tu wananchi ita hao watu mketi mzuluishe ile mambo ambayo iko pale badala ya kutoa vitisho ya kusema oh sijui msiporudi kazi mtafanya namna gani the MPs and the MCs and the people of Nairobi for escorting one of your own and spending the whole day with him that is leadership hata wale akina baba wao sivuna watu yaazimiwa leo tumewatolea kofia at least wamekuja tumewakaribisha si ndio hata kama babu anasema tufanye maandamano ni vile tu hana mtu ya kumweleza sisi hiyo tabia ya maandamano it is not in this part of this country hiyo sisi ya tuko hapo sisi tukiwa na maneno tunaongea na mdomo mambo ya kuharibu mali ya watu na nini na kutupa mawe it is not in our culture we don't do so lakini ni vile tu ajui tutaongea na yeye pole pole tutamuongelesha but we are very happy governor sakaja well